Edexcel A-Level Maths, Pure Paper 1, Summer 2018, Question 5. Given that y equals 3 sine theta all over 2 sine theta plus 2 cos theta, we want to show that dy by d theta equals a over 1 plus sine 2 theta, where a is a rational constant to be found. Now we're differentiating a fraction here, so we're going to use our formula. So dy by d theta equals v multiplied by du d theta minus u dv d theta all over v squared, where u is the top of our original fraction, the 3 sine theta, and v equals the bottom, 2 sine theta plus 2 cos theta. So differentiating these two gives us du by d theta equals 3 cos theta, and dv by d theta equals 2 cos theta minus 2 sine theta. That's just basic differentiation there. We're now going to put these into our formula. So dy by d theta equals 2 sine theta plus 2 cos theta, all times 3 cos theta, minus 3 sine theta multiplied by 2 cos theta minus 2 sine theta, all of that over the square of 2 sine theta plus 2 cos theta. So we've got our fraction here. We're going to expand the top and the bottom, multiplying those brackets out to give us 6 sine theta cos theta plus 6 cos squared theta minus 6 sine theta cos theta plus 6 sine squared theta. And that's all over 4 sine squared theta plus 4 cos squared theta plus 8 cos theta sine theta. The first thing to notice is that we've got positive 6 sine theta cos theta and a negative version on the top so they can cancel each other out. We can now see that both top and bottom, we've got some cos squareds plus sine squareds, and we've got cos theta sine theta. So remember, we've got some identities for these. Cos squared plus sine squared equals one. Two cos theta sine theta equals sine two theta. So by factorizing the top and the bottom, we're gonna get it into a form where we can do some conversions using our identities. So for the numerator, we're going to factorise out the 6. So 6 times cos squared plus sine squared. On the denominator, we're going to factorise the 4 out of the first two terms. So we get 4 lots of sine squared plus cos squared. And similarly, for the last part of the denominator, we're going to take that 4 out as well to leave us with 4 times 2 cos theta sine theta. We can now replace our cos squared plus sine squared and our 2 cos sine with our identities. So dy by d theta equals 6 over 4 plus 4 sine 2 theta. And dividing this through by 4 gives us 3 over 2 over 1 plus sine 2 theta as required. So the a that's needed is 3 over 2. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel or check out some more of my videos by clicking on the links here.